This video is going to focus on Dynamics 365 in the Sales Hub and what I want to show you is how you are able to customize the Opportunity Close form. Now if you're familiar with Dynamics Customer Service and if you watched the most recent video tutorial that was published here, we looked at how you can completely configure the case close resolution form and I mean remove fields add fields whatever you need to do unfortunately for the sales area a lot of the fields are locked down on that opportunity close form but you can add your own custom forms so that's what we're gonna walk through here the first thing I'm gonna do is within my sales hub is turn on the ability to do that so we're gonna go to app settings in here and what we're looking for is actually in the overview. I'm going to expand this. And then we've got this new area. It's not new, it's just renamed and things put here. We're going to go into lead and opportunity management under this area and go to opportunity closing. And we're going to toggle this setting on custom fields on closing form. Once we've done that, you're going to save at the bottom and then we will toggle over to make.powerapps.com to make our additional changes. In a solution file, we're going to go to add existing and look for table. And we are looking for the opportunity close table, which is here. Click next, go to edit objects and forms and it'll pre-select some things here. What you actually want is this quick create form for opportunity close. So let's add that form and click add and then we'll be able to modify what's showing up on that form. So let's open up the table here and we'll go to forms and now we're going to open up the form designer and again we're not going to be able to remove any of the fields that are showing up here on this closed dialog unfortunately but what you can do is add a custom table. So we could do this a number of ways, right? We could add a custom field or column first under that table and then drag it over and add it onto this canvas. Or I can do it right from here. I can click new table column, start to give the information, and then I'll be able to just add that to the canvas. So I've added a field to capture order number, uh, which then I can use in further fantastic Power Automate automations. So we're adding that new column, it's adding it to that table, then I'll be able to pull it over. So just drag and drop it where you want. When you have it the way that you like it, you're welcome to save and publish, and then I'll show you what that looks like on the back end for the user. So this is the sales rep view. I'm in an opportunity, let's click close as one. And now you can see in addition to all of the out of the box fields, my sales reps can start to order, enter the order number, which is the custom column that we added. So there we have it, simple way to come in and customize the opportunity close dialog. Again, that'll be for both closes one and closes lost. There's probably some cool logic you'd want to put in, right? You wouldn't want to show order number if it is closed as lost. So I'd use a business rule there. Also, depending on the column that you're adding, you might need to come in to the classic solution explorer and edit the one to end relationship between your opportunity and your opportunity close. That would keep your data in sync or push data from your opportunity over to opportunity close. If you do that, you're also gonna to wanna to think about adding a Power Automate flow to keep that data in sync. If the data is changed on the opportunity close, you probably wanna push that back down to the opportunity. And again, you would use flow and Power Automate for that.